Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thanks for catching my very first video. My name is Katie Jenkins and I wanted to share with you a foundation that I have fallen in love with and I'm going to go ahead and just pull my hair back so we can get started. For those of you that have no idea who I am, I'm an independent beauty guide with Limelight by Alcom and I'm going to be showing you our Botanical Wax Base Foundation. So our Botanical Wax Base Foundation comes in a little tin just like this and it is 50% pigment whereas most commercial brands are only 18-23% to 23 pigment. So this pigment is insane. It's literally going to cover up all of my redness, this little scar, and this breakout. For whatever reason, I don't know who gets breakouts on their cheeks, but I do. And um, it's basically, it's a very, very light feeling foundation. So if you've used this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It literally feels like you have nothing on your face. And it is made to imitate your skin. So it's almost like a second layer of skin, which is pretty nice. <laughs> and it's very buildable. It's hypoallergenic. So even the most sensitive skin types can use this without having any breakouts. Um... I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it's wax-based. So with that being wax-based, it's not going to sink into any um, any pores or any fine lines or wrinkles that you may have, which is super, super important, um, especially for, you know, mature skin type. You definitely don't want a cakey foundation to like sink into any fine lines that you may have because it's just basically going to draw attention to all of that that you don't want to. So it's going to help cover all of that up. And for your pores, it's not going to sink into your pores, which is honestly what causes a lot of breakouts. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a super short video. Um, I'm using my little um, blender full, and since I am missing some in the center of my tin, typically I just have to dip it in here once, but I'm probably going to have to go a couple different times again since I'm missing the middle portion. But I'm just going to dab it on here. There are so many different ways to apply this botanical foundation. Um, typically, so right now my blender fulls dry. When your blender fulls dry, it's going to give you a more thicker coverage, but typically in the summertime, I wet my blender full first because I tan very, very easily, so it kind of naturally hides a lot of my redness. So I'll dampen my blender full and then put my foundation on that way which you will definitely get to see as I, as my tan, as my tan comes back. But in the winter time, I just like a little, I like to feel a little, I guess a little extra with my foundation because I've, am, you know, lost all of my summer color. And I literally just have to dab this around. I'll go right in there. And that's it. So typically, I know a lot of people start with their um, concealer first, but the thing is with our botanical foundation, it's the pigment is just so insanely high that typically people don't even need to wear concealer anymore. So I, um, I kind of go back and forth. Uh, I'm a mom, so I'm typically always tired. So sometimes I will go back and put a very light concealer under. I'll show you if I can get it out real quick. <laughs> we have, this is my favorite concealer to wear to kind of brighten up my under eye area, but this is concealer zero. You can see how bright that is. So I love wearing that one. I don't wear it every day because I really don't need that much, that much coverage. Um, but you can see like my breakout is gone. My scar up there, which I typically, you know, I don't really care about covering it up because I'm not um, a very materialistic person, I guess. So if I have a scar, I, you know, I've had it my whole life, but this foundation is just so cool that it covers it up. So that is a very quick demonstration of our wax based botanical foundation. And if you guys have any questions, please um, just comment below and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed my first video. Bye guys. 